Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Expression Thursday. Now, I know a couple of weeks ago, I talked about how um, different cultures use makeup as a form of expression, whether it's for rituals, whether like getting married, or whether it's for protection, or um, was it war paint? Um, trying to remember what's the other one, the henna. You know, there are different ways in which cultures around the world use makeup and face paint as a means of expression. Well, one of the things I thought about is, is a lot of times when we're reading books or we're watching movies, we relate to those characters a lot. And so they become almost a reflection of how we feel at that time that we're watching that movie. So I wanted to give a shout out to the movie people who actually recreate these costumes or the ones who create the costumes to begin with, because that is a form of expression. Um, so when you really relate to a character or when you really resonate with a character, sometimes, you know, like during Halloween or if it's a special promotion or something that you're you're doing like they do with, um, what's the name of that movie? Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show or, you know, Harry Potter, where that character resonates with you so much that you dress up like them and go out to spend time with other people who resonate with that same movie. And so, but there's a lot of skill that goes into that. And so I really wanted to talk about that today and kind of give some pictures and, you know, just, just the way movies actually relate and allow us to give self-expression. I know in my family, we are really big on movies. So we do a lot of movie lines. You know, if you ever hanging out with us, you'll notice we, we reference a lot of movies. Even in my YouTube channel, you'll see where I reference a lot of movies because those movies at times you know, will depict or will say things that either resonate with you and give you a life lesson or resonate because that's how you feel at that time. So I wanted to give a couple examples of just how people have really gone and taken, you know, makeup and costume and jewelry to really reson really show their resonation with a certain character like the Mad Hatter, <laughs> okay? So I was one of those. I love Alice in Wonderland, especially the one done by Tim Burton, which is what this this guy is doing right here. You know, he's dressed up like the Mad Hatter from Tim Burton. Um, and so the Mad Hatter seems crazy, but he's not really crazy. He actually is making a lot of sense sometimes if you really listen to him and what he's talking about. And so you can see in the picture how this guy really resonated with him and how he dressed like him. And I mean, he did a really good job at depicting the Mad Hatter, okay? So you may not feel that crazy about the Mad Hatter or feel like you have any relation to him, but maybe it was something like, Maleficent. <laughs> okay. Maleficent was another one, you know, where she had a really great story. People resonated with it. The feeling of alienation, you know, feeling that um, people look at you and think of you in a manner that's other than who you really are on the inside to where it does make you a little cold. It does draw you in a little. So you can kind of relate to her struggle, especially if you get to the second movie, you know, where she finds people who are like her. Okay. So that whole ideal and the whole personification of this Maleficent <laughs> is what this person actually re resonated with them to where they got dressed and dressed like her, okay? So maybe yours isn't even that. Maybe it's something more like the Avatar, okay? So the blue people. Like, um, well, actually, I don't know if this lady is the blue people or if she is the lady from X-Men whose name I can't think of right now, the shapeshifter. But anyway, she does a good job at <laughs> her makeup and her costume and depicting, you know, somebody who may be otherworldly, you know. So all I'm saying is, is that we don't have to stick to the normal ways of which we express ourselves, you know, like just with our clothes or just with, you know, the, the things that we do, like cooking or singing. Sometimes that expression can be a lot broader than that to the point where you're getting really creative. And I'm sure these people really get into it when they put these costumes on and putting them together and getting the makeup just right. And I'm sure it's a lot of time that they put into it. But at that same token, you can see in their face in the pictures that there is some gratification in that, that it makes them feel good about who they are. And that's the whole point about self-expression is to feel good about who you are and who you are expressing yourself to be to the world. And if this is a creative method in which you want to do it, by all means, I say do it because it 
it takes some skill and talent to do that. And who knows, maybe one day it'll even pay off, okay? But either way it goes, if you have something that you wanted to try, and even if other people like that are not in that genre or not doing the things in, in that area like who look like you or maybe come from your same background or situation, I still say go for it, try it. You know, you may not have the money or the budget to do something as big as what they did, but if you have to go to the thrift store or even to the dollar store to get some makeup and stuff, I still say go for it, try it, do it. You know, the only thing that's going to be stopping you or preventing you from doing that is you and your own mindset. So if it's something that you want to try, I say don't let it hold you back. Just go for it, try it and see where it takes you, you know? Like, I don't feel like I'm a Picasso, but if I feel like painting, I still paint, okay? It may look childish to some people. It may not look like anything special, but it feels good for me to do that and for me to get that out on the on the canvas. So, like I said, if it's something that you feel that you want to try, you want to do, go for it. You may be the next Picasso in whatever area that is that you're working at. You never know if you don't give yourself a chance. So that's the message for today. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave comments below. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me what your thoughts are. How do you express yourself? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys and I'll talk to you tomorrow.